Mill's Utilitarianism, reading from chapter 2. The multiplication of happiness is, according to the utilitarian ethics, the object of virtue. The occasions on which any person, except one in a thousand, has it in his power to do this on an extended scale, in other words, to be a public benefactor, are but exceptional, that is to say, they are merely exceptions. And on these occasions alone is he called on to consider public utility. In every other case, private utility, the interest or happiness of some few persons, is all he has to attend to. This passage, I think, is one of the more vivid passages linking Mill's libertarianism with his utilitarianism. He is a utilitarian, which is to say, he thinks we need to pursue the greatest happiness. He is a libertarian. He is... Other very famous book on liberty focuses on freedom of speech, and Mill defends freedom of speech and pretty much every other freedom. Mill is associated with the libertarian strain of the classical liberal tradition. And how does that connect? What about the greater good? Well, he thinks the greater good is served by pursuing your own individual good. Most of the time, the pursuit of the happiness of you and maybe a few people close to you is exactly well, first of all, consistent with the greater good, but second, it also serves the greater good. Except for one in a thousand people, nearly every decision we have to make, he says here, is a decision where pursuing our own interests is quite enough, and we don't even need to consider the, the greater good. Though, of course, we should prefer the greater good to our own interests if we have to choose.